This is going to be a hard one. So let me start by apologizing, guys. It's been a while since I posted a video. Um, and as you know, I'm mostly upbeat and happy and positive all the time, if not most of the time. But I got to come clean. I got to be honest with you guys. It's It hasn't been as glamorous as I've been painting it. Um, for a while, really, uh, the videos have been a way for me to motivate myself and stay positive uh, and kind of validate myself to a degree. I don't know if that's even the right word, but I guess it all started in TNT. Um, it dawned on me very early the reality of what trucking is, you know. Um, but I had already made this decision. I had to, you know, stick with it. Probably, if I'm honest, out of pride more than anything. Um, so I started the YouTube channel to kind of validate myself and I guess it kind of snowballed from there. I've just been... You know, video after video selling myself this lifestyle. I'm sorry guys, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me, let me start at the beginning, try to deal with this in chronological order. So, as I mentioned in the past, I wasn't having a good time in the car business. I was burned out. Um, I took a bunch of road trips through 2020, 2021 in the midst of COVID. And that really pushed me into trucking. It really gave me the idea that I could make a good living while enjoying my passion for road tripping and driving. But like I mentioned earlier, quickly um, through TNT, more than through PSD, through TNT, uh, it was very clear that it's, it wasn't all of what I had hoped for it to be. Like I mentioned in the past, uh, you know, Truck Money BG was such a great trainer. He caught me off guard and I didn't know what to make of it. He just had such a great attitude and had such an odd mindset of enjoying the lifestyle and the adventure that Again, it really caught me off guard, and I didn't know what to make of it. Um, so I just rolled with it, uh, played along, uh, pretended to enjoy myself, just so I could get through this experience with the hope that once I was by myself, I was going to be able to just, I guess, grind. So I was in this truck with this trainer that was a lease owner operator and was selling me this this utopian view of what lease and lease purchase can be. I, I wasn't really buying into it but I just played along because I was stuck in the truck and it just snowballed into into where I am right now. So, as I sit here today, I have no choice but to come clean to you guys. And, well, the truth is that I was not prepared for this level of enjoyment. You know, I drive through some beautiful places, listening to some great music that I love, dodging suicidal deer at times being able to choose my loads, getting routed to places that I want. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's hard guys. It's, it's hard to, to deal with the amount of money that I'm making. Um, 
not knowing what to do with it. It's it's just I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't prepared. Uh, and not only that, but uh, also when I was looking into lease, or when actually when I started lease, when I got my truck, a lot of people told me that I was making a huge mistake, that I was an idiot. And, and honestly, I wonder where they got that idea. But they told me that I was going to be a slave to my truck and that I wasn't going to be able to take any time off, and that I wasn't going to be able to go home, that I wasn't going to make any money. And, and clearly they were right. I have, I mean, here I am stuck in the truck for how long has it been? Two months since I went home because I had the family emergency with my grandma around New Year's uh, and I, I mean I've been so miserable out on the road not being able to take any time off obviously um, that yeah Sorry about that interruption, guys. So I didn't really know what else to say and my dad showed up earlier than what I was expecting. So I had to just stop recording and, you know, talk to him. He asked me what was going on because he could sense something was off and I just cried to him. All the things that I've been talking to you guys about. Um, you know how I'm basically upside down on my finances because of this lease thing, how, how I'm not a real trucker, how I'm, I'm being called steering wheel, steering wheel holder, I, I can't even say it, how I'm, yeah, and, yeah, well, and as you can see, I'm home, but Something feels off. I, I, I guess I wish the circumstances were different. Uh, but yeah, I, I really don't know what else to say. I, I think I've been very clear and very honest with you guys. Uh, but let me just recap. So the last six months have been a lie. Um, I've been miserable the entire time. Um, I'm not a real trucker, apparently. Um, yeah. You, you know the rest. Um, so you may be wondering, what am I going to do now? Uh, I mean, I'm home. I'm going to meditate on the decisions and actions I've taken in the last year or so and you know, figure out where to go forward. But on the time being, I got to run away from my problems. Either that or perpetuate the lies. Happy April Fools, guys.
Well guys, if you made it to this part of the video, I want to thank you so much for watching. I had a good time recording this one, just thinking of all the people I was going to get to mess with. Uh, so please treat this video with the seriousness that it deserves. <laughs> but also, today is actually my birthday, April 1st. And because it is my birthday, I actually have a treat for you guys. So I had a couple of shirts made. Uh, you can see them here. These are the steering wheel holder gang shirts. As you can see, the front says steering wheel holder gang and the back accurately describes what a steering wheel holder does, which is work less and get paid the same. Um, I had a couple of shirts made, a couple large, a couple medium, with the intention of just giving them away for fun. So if you made it to this part of the video and you want one, just hit me up in the comments or on Instagram and I'll try to get one to you. Once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you can't tell from a video like this, I really enjoy making the videos and I'm all about having fun while being informative. So, yeah, I will catch you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.